Hello everyone, welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. Today is part one of the Dollar Store Barbie Bedroom Challenge. This is a battle between my mom and I to see who can use items from the dollar store to build a do-it-yourself doll bedroom. The goal is to use as many items from the dollar store as possible. We will be looking at how much each build costs to make and at the end of part two, we hope you will leave your vote for the best bedroom in the comments. All right, let's turn this over to my mom for part one of our dollar store bedroom challenge. I'm going to use foam core board from the dollar store to build my room. Cut one of your boards in half to make two 15 by 20 inch pieces. These are for the floor, and the back wall. Take another board and cut a 15 by 15 for the side. Cut one 3 fourths by 20 inch strip for the baseboard and one 3 eighths by 20 inch for the crown molding. Also cut one 3 fourths by 15 and one 3 eighths by 15 for your side wall. Paint your walls. On the back wall, cut two windows, two inches from the edge of the wall. My windows are three inches by nine inches. Cut more three eighths inch strips and place around the windows. I recycled a Barbie doll box for window paints. Take craft sticks from the dollar store and trim off the ends and hot glue them on your floor. I used penetrating stain to stain the floor and sprayed it with a clear coat for the finish. Then glue the room together and then glue in the trim. Now let's make the curtains. I found this gold wire in the floral section of the dollar store and I thought it would work great for the curtain rods. Cut two six inch pieces. Position your pliers three fourths of an inch from the edge and bend. Do the same to the other side. Cut two pieces of fabric six and a half by 14. I use fabric that is lightweight and hangs well. Iron and sew the edges down. Then sew a 3 4 inch hem. Take your curtains and add six pleats. Make sure you iron them down. At the top, turn over a half inch and sew to make the casing. String your curtains on the curtain rods. Put a bead at each end. Push the rod into the foam core board and glue on the back side. Now we are going to make the furniture. The link for the pattern is in the description box below. Cut out your pattern and trace it on your foam core board. Cut your pieces out with an X-Acto knife. Starting with the headboard, follow your diagram to glue your pieces in place. Do the same for the footboard.
Take the platform and glue it to the headboard. Then take your two side pieces and glue to the platform. Then glue on your clipboard. Now take your four small squares and glue them on for feet. To make the bed stain, use the pattern below. Cut all the pieces out of the foam core board except the drawer. That needs to be cut out of tag board. Take the front piece and place your pattern over it and cut out the drawer. When cutting the doors, only cut the solid line. Turn your front over and on the dotted line, cut part way through so the doors open. Also when cutting the drawer, if the piece gets damaged, cut out a new piece. Next, we are going to make the knobs. Cut three one and a half inch pieces of floral wire. Using a jeweler's plier, make a small round circle. Bring the wires together and slide a bead on. Then push in the center of the drawer. Do the same for the doors. Now make the box for the drawer and glue on the front. Now take the front and glue one side on, making sure the side is seen on the front. You will be putting a piece over it so it will not show. Now take the two inside pieces and glue one on the bottom and one below the drawer. Finish putting the side on and then the back. I like to trim one of my tops to give it an angled look, then glue together. Now glue it on to the stand. Take the four small squares and glue them on for feet. To make a rug, I found a pillow sham at the thrift store for a dollar. With the pillow sham and a piece of sticky back felt from Hobby Lobby, I cut the fabric and stuck it on the felt. I trimmed the edges and free checked it. I used a piece of packing foam for the mattress and covered it with a white fabric. For the bedding, I used the pillow sham to make the fitted sheet a flat sheet, pillows, and pillow slips. I also made two large blue pillows, one round pillow, and a bedspread with other fabric from the thrift store. I also included a pattern for the dresser. Use the same instructions from the bed stand to make the dresser. I also got two miniature frames at the dollar store and added prints from a magazine. I got two air fresheners that look like lamps from the dollar store a few years ago. I cleaned them out and covered the shades with gold foil. To finish off the room, add extras like plants and books. And you're done. I spent a total of $13 on this build. This didn't include paint and glue, and other things I already had on hand. We hope you enjoyed part one of our Dollar Store Doll Bedroom Challenge. Make sure to subscribe today so you don't miss part two of our challenge. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and let us know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. We hope you have a wonderful day and have fun crafting.